I am at Civic Center, the city hall and the main plaza here in Shenzhen. Today is May 1st, International Workers' Day, which is a major holiday here. Most people get four days off, which is interesting because it's actually in celebration of something that happened in the United States, May 1st. May 1st is International Workers' Day, and it exists because on May 1st, 1886, the workers in Chicago went on a massive strike. After four days of unrest, uh, people fighting the police, the police killing striking workers, the city of Chicago basically declared martial law, made assembly illegal, shut down the free press, all kinds of really crazy measures that would be maybe unthinkable today. In any case, it's a major holiday, so for the first through fourth, most people have off. This plaza is massive, so this is actually pretty crowded. If I come here on a normal day, it is dead empty because there's a giant mall below us called the Book Mall. Let me show you a little more of the plaza and then take you into the Book Mall. This is Eon Books, which is one of my favorite places. It's the English language bookstore in the center of the city. And you'd be surprised at some of the books that you can find. Like they have the entire collection of George Orwell here. Anyway, let's go inside the book mall. This is it. And it is crowded here today. But let's go take a look at the main floor. Tons of people reading, tons of people looking at books and buying there down in the center. And this goes on and on and on. Let's go back outside. This is popular where you get tea, sit down and study. And even though it's a holiday, everyone's here working. Let's take a look around. And now let's head back to the plaza. Shenzhen is a relatively new city and there is some fascinating architecture here. I believe this is a concert hall or some kind of exhibition hall. We look around, we see more buildings, and we can see the waveform of the main city civic center plaza. Let's go, keep going. This structure here is the city's library with these really interesting shapes here in the middle reminding you of mountains. Uh, it's a really cool building and inside it is absolutely massive. If we look down there, we can see crowds. I can hear girls singing. I just want to turn around to appreciate the scope of this place because this is a long road leading up to this mountain here. This is probably at least, at least a kilometer, if not two, like a mile. So let's walk down and see what all the cool kids are up to. The two pillars here, the red one and the yellow one, stand for something, but I can't remember right now. But the waveform stands for the fact that this is a city by the sea. Oh, that's some of the cool kids right there. Skateboarding, this is a perfect skateboarding city. It is flat and there's lots of really cool little features to mess around with, like curved slopes. And there's no, no skateboarding signs or anything. It's a shame that the kids are doing homework all day. But when they do get a chance to skateboard, they have a lot of fun. Massive. And I said that the cool kids were doing something down here. Well, it is definitely break dancing.
at least learning how to. I love this funky building. Let's see. And someone's catching me as I'm catching them. Truly massive, eh? All right. Now I can hear the skateboarders. I think they like it down here, but there's more room. And this is only the middle of, this is the middle of the city. But it stretches on and on that way. And this way. We've got our skateboarders over here. And then we turn and we see our anime enthusiasts. And here we have the park. You can see kids playing without masks. People dressed in what year? Like the Ming Dynasty, like a thousand years ago dress? <laughs> cool. Uh, anyway, yeah, you know, people doing their thing, living life. It's a pretty crowded, nice day. Uh, everywhere there's shade, you see people. And there's a guy staring at me, so I'm not going to take a video of him. <laughs> and you see the kites. This is the only place you will see people standing in the sun because they need the room. Any good ones? Look at that one. Nice. And now we can see the building from the very top. Do you remember what the red square and the yellow circle represent? Ah, <laughs> uh, no one can remember. Oh well. This that's Ping An Tower, the tallest building in Shenzhen, right? Yes. We can see uh, the whole city from here. If we swing the other way, we can see the second tallest, or there's something under construction there that's cool. We can see that's KK100, that's the second tallest building. Used to be the tallest. And now there's a statue of Deng Xiaoping, the leader of China in the 1980s, who made nice nice with the uh, Thatcher, among other things.